so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys three simple modded outfits that you can make with the outfit transfer glitch and these outfits you don't have to merge them so you don't have to start up crooked cops so remember that with the outfit transfer glitch you do lose all your outfits except for only one so before you start you want to equip the outfit that you don't want to lose and when you're ready to start come over here to the clothing store set your spawn location to last location hit your pause button go to online and go to swap character so one more time you're going to be losing all your outfits except for only one so before you start you want to put on the outfit that you don't want to lose come to the clothing store set your spawn location to last location hit your pause button go to online and go to swap character so you got to main a male character if you want to do this glitch and make sure that your male character is on the left side if your male character is on the right side the glitch is not going to work so make sure that your male character is on the left side anyway once you get in here you want to go over to your second character and it's either going to say edit or delete if it says delete just go ahead and delete your second character and two new characters are going to come in and then you're going to get an edit option for your second character once you get an edit option for your second character just go ahead and select that when he or she is going you're going to get this alert right here you just want to go ahead and accept it once you get in here if your second character ended up being a male change it into a female but if it was already a female leave it as a female go ahead and save and continue make a random name for it after you make the name and take the picture when it's loading it may or may not play the casino dlc trailer for me it's not gonna play it but for some of you guys it may play it so whether it plays the casino dlc trailer or not it's not going to affect the glitch you're just waiting to get spawned inside of your new session also if you're still watching and you haven't liked the video make sure you go like it share it when you're done watching it you don't got to comment but if it did work for you and want to tell people that it worked you can also do that but make sure that you do like the video though and one more thing the outfits are going to be in order from what you see in the thumbnail just in case you want to make only one but i've already made like specific videos on each outfit a while ago so yeah Now once you get spawned inside your new session, first thing you want to do is open up your map and check to see if there are any clothing stores inside your session. Now if you don't see any clothing stores in your session, like I don't see any clothing stores in my session, just go to online and go to find new session or just switch sessions and then the clothing stores are going to be inside your new session. But if you do see the clothing stores inside your session, make your way over to any of them but if you don't see the clothing stores inside your session just with sessions and then the clothing stores are going to be inside that new session So right now I'm about to get spawned inside my new session. I'm going to go ahead and open up my map and as you can see the clothing stores are inside my new session. And just real quick some quick tips. Um, if you don't see any money on your second character it's because you didn't put the money in the bank. So just go back on your main character put the money in the bank and then start over. And if you go to the clothing store and for some reason you're not able to buy something that I bought it's probably because your main character isn't at level 120 or higher.
problem. So once you get to the clothing store, you want to first go to the top section, go to tuck t-shirts and buy the black classic. So just come over here to the tops, go to the tuck t-shirts and buy the black classic. So once you got that, you want to go to the leather jacket and buy the black cropped biker, which is going to be towards the bottom. So just stay in the top section, go to leather jacket and buy the black cropped biker. So this right here, once you got that, you want to make your way over to the pants, go to the sport pants and buy the ash roll ups, which are going to be towards the bottom. So just come over here to the pants, go to sport pants and buy the ash roll ups so these right here once you got that you just want to go ahead and back out make your way over to the shoe section go to high heel boots and purchase the deluxe midnight combat so just come over to the shoes go to high heel boots and purchase the deluxe midnight combat So these right here and once you got that if you want checkerboard glasses on your outfit go to the casual glasses and buy the copper marble glasses and if you want a checkerboard hat on your outfit go to the canvas hat and buy the gray plate canvas set i can't buy none of them because i'm in bad sport so if you want the checkerboard glasses buy the copper marble glasses which are going to be under casual glasses and if you want a checkerboard hat like you see in the thumbnail go to the canvas set and buy the gray plate canvas set once you got that, just going to come save the outfit and when you save it, save it in a slot that's empty on your main character. So if the white joggers outfit that I had on my main character was on slot 20, I will just save this in a different slot. So just save it in an empty slot that's on your main character. Once you got that saved, now we're going to go ahead and make the second outfit. So you should already have on the leather jacket and the black classic t-shirt. So you just want to go ahead and make your way over to the pants, go to leather pants and buy the red ripe or red rip, however you want to say it. So just come over here to the um, pants and go to leather pants and buy the leather pants that I'm going to be buying. So these right here, just go ahead and buy that. Once you got it, make your way over to the shoes, go to the boots, and buy the Ash Winter Boots, which are going to be towards the bottom. So just come over here to the shoes, go to the boots, and buy the Ash Winter Boots. And for this outfit, if you want the checkerboard glasses on it, go to the casual glasses and buy the copper marble glasses. And if you want the checkerboard hat, just put on the um, gray plate canvas set. I can't do any of that because I'm in bad sport, like I already said, so I'm just going to go ahead and come save the outfit. And when you save it, just go ahead and save it also in the empty slot that's on your main character. So now we're just gonna go ahead and make the last outfit which is gonna be the fully checkerboard outfit so when you're ready come over here to the tops go to denim jackets and buy the two-tone denim jacket so just come over here to the tops go to denim jackets and buy the two-tone denim jacket so this once you got that you want to back out stay in the top section go to bustiers and buy the white lace bustiers so just come to the bustiers and buy the white lace bustier. So this one right here, once you got that, make your way over to the pants section, go to the jeans and buy the black crop jeans. So come over here to the pants, go to the jeans and buy the black cropped jeans.
all right so now once you got that you just want to go ahead and make your way over to the shoes go to the high heel boots and just put on the deluxe midnight combat boots again so you should have already bought them the first time so just come over here to the high heel boots and purchase the deluxe midnight combat so these right here once you got that you can also put um black woolen gloves on the outfit so just go to the accessories and put on the black woolen gloves and if you want the um checkerboard hat put on the gray plate canvas hat but i'm in bad sport like i said so i can't do none of that so once you got that just go ahead and come save the outfit and like i said before saving the empty slot that's on your main character so once you got all the outfits saved you want to just go ahead and go to the standard outfits and buy the chica outfit once you've purchased the Chica outfit, just go ahead and back out, okay. hit your pause button, go to online, and click on creator. Once you get inside a creator, click on create a race and then click on land race. When you get loaded in, click on race details. Go ahead and fill out the title and the description. You don't gotta be nothing specific. I just put in random stuff for it. Once you got that, just go ahead and take the um, photo, put the maximum players on two, and then put the root type on point to point. Once you got that, hit your pause button, go to online, and. <laughs> I mean hit your pause button, open up your map and warp over to the airport. Once you get to the airport, hit B, click on placement, click on place triggers, go ahead and place it down, and then click on lobby camera, go ahead and take it, and then click on the checkpoint. Now it doesn't matter how many checkpoints you place down, as long as you make the race 0.62 miles or longer. So just go ahead and make the race 0.62 miles or longer. Once you've made it 0.62 miles or longer, just hit your back button twice. So it gives you the option to test out the race and just go ahead and test it out. Once you finish the race, you're gonna get this completed alert. Just go ahead and accept it. Once you load in, hit your pause button, go to online, and go to choose character. So once you get in here, all you want to do is go over to your second character that has the chica outfit on and you're going to delete her. So make sure you go over to your second character that has the chica outfit on because you don't want to delete your main character by accident. So go over to your second character that got the chica outfit on and then you're going to delete her. Once you delete her, two new characters are going to come in from here. You just want to hit your back button so it takes you inside of single player. So hit B or circle and it's going to take you inside of single player. Once you get inside of single player, all you want to do is hit your pause button, go to online, play GT online, and just go inside of an invite only session. So you're just going inside of an invite only session when you get loaded inside of single player.
want to get loaded and set up online first thing you want to do is save your outfit that you didn't want to lose because it's not going to be saved so make sure you save your outfit that you didn't want to lose once you save your outfit you should be able to open up your interaction menu go to your styles and select the outfit as whatever you saved it as and yeah they're yours so that's going to be it for this video if you guys enjoyed it don't forget to drop a like on it share or subscribe if you already haven't um, turn your post notifications so you don't miss out on further videos.